many quantum mechanical problems can be reduced to one dimension because the problem, though truly three-dimensional, can be mathematically separated. For example, problems associated with electrons and planar surfaces or layered structures fall into this category, at least approximately or for simplified but useful models. Specific examples there include field emission of electrons from flat metal surfaces, tunneling through the gate oxide in transistors and integrated circuits, the tunneling that is at the core of how solid state memory cells work in so-called flash memory, and most problems associated with semiconductor quantum well structures. One dimensional problems can be solved by a number of techniques. Here we will discuss one of these the transfer matrix technique. We will also derive one key result of the so-called WKB method. The transfer matrix technique is particularly straightforward to program on a computer in any of a variety of software packages or programming languages and runs very fast. As a result, it can be a flexible and fairly universal method for looking at a wide range of problems and structures. We'll start here by understanding how to look at tunneling problems to deduce real tunneling currents. I should emphasize that such tunneling is a routine everyday occurrence in semiconductor electronics and is actually how some devices, such as the flash memories I mentioned, actually work. This is not, therefore, some weird quantum mechanical effect encountered only in physics labs. Mm -hmm. 